there friends this is Chris with peace of mind and today I'm going to show you um, my process of making a journal um, I'm just starting when to make the cover of the journal today I decided that I wanted to make some art journals um, I do a holiday big holiday show up in Golden and um, at an art gallery and I thought it would be very nice to make some journals that uh, people could sketch in or um, just do, you know, whatever kind of art they wanted to on the pages. So that's what this one's going to be. And I, it's going to be, the theme is going to be Monet. Um, I did print out some of Mrs. Cog's crafts. It's her name. She's the one that did these digitals. And she has them on her Etsy shop. Also, I'm going to use some paper that I got. I got long ago at a um a paper shop up in in um, Essence Park, and they sold the papers by the sheet. And it's of course the water lilies from Monet's garden. Actually, it goes this way. So I'm starting out with a mailing envelope. Usually I recycle ones I have um, received through the mail already, but I don't I don't don't have any of those on hand. I've used them, so I got out one of I have an Etsy shop, so I have plenty of these that I used to ship, and I got out a new one that I'm going to use, and I like them because I have the they have the padding in them. And it makes for a really nice journal. You can either use um, this for the outside of the journal and cover it, or the inside of the journal and uh, have it, you know, give it a little bit of stability. And I'm going to cover both sides. What I'm going to do, do first is I took my my envelope. I cut off the top area, then I cut off the side that I wanted to be the, the binding. I cut as close as I could to here without snipping through the, to open it up. And then over here, I did cut as close as I could to the edge to open it up. So you want it to open up, of course, on. it doesn't matter whether this is upside down or whatever. Because you're going to cover it, but you want it to open on the, on the one side and open on the one side and be closed on the other side so that it can be the the, the binding. Okay, so I'm going to put this one away. I'll use that. Okay, now I need to decide on my on my paper what pattern I want to show on the on the front cover. And this one I'm gonna have, have I'm gonna have it go, it's gonna overlap to the inside, so I want it to be a little bit bigger. And I like this area here with the darker, darker greens. Okay, so I'm going to uh, use this part. I'm gonna turn this over. This is the part I decided would be the top, would be the top front. So I'm going to make sure that the the top front ends up over here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave enough on the edge to be able to fold over to the inside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a um I would get a ruler. You don't have to have a ruler. You can just do this freehand and trim it up later. I'm going to make a, a line here in pencil. I hope you all are doing well. Okay. And like I said, I can always trim this down so I could cut it a, a bit more than what I think I might actually need. J 
just to be sure I have enough. Okay, let's go this way. And so I can even it up. I can eat it up later. Okay. Put that aside for a moment and I cut it. And you can use you can basically use anything to cover to cover uh, the front of the journal um, as far as paper or fabric. You wouldn't want to use anything that was too thick in the way of um, of fabric because uh, you already have that padding on there. But a nice muslin or even perhaps a. Um, an upholstery material would work fine as well. Like I said, I'm going to make this one into a. Um, I'm just going to go go ahead and cut. So I have this. I have this nice strip. I can use for something. Probably inside the journal. And then I also have this nice piece here. This is kind of the the paper's kind of wrinkly, but I like that I like that look, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go with it. Um, the bubble wrap envelope is, is kind of crinkly and nice to the touch, as well. Okay, so now I'm gonna find turn it over this side. I'm gonna find my front. This is my the part where I want my front. The water lilies, the flowers are going up, so I know that that that's. That's the right side up. Okay, now I'm going to put this under. Okay. I can, if I want to, I can mark... Oh, this is a little bit shy of having the bubble wrap there, but I don't think that's going to be a problem because I'm going to actually... Fold this over. If I want to, and I will, uh, I'm going to mark my corners so that after I put the glue on this, uh, on the other side, then I'll know where to put. I'll know where to put the corners. Okay, and I'm also going to mark this as the uh, top. I'll be setting this over it so it won't show. Okay. Mark this is the top also. And what I'm going to use, I'm going to use um, fabric tack. Mainly because that I'm gluing down to that bubble wrap and it's that bubble wrap is... Uh, with the the uh, envelope, it's kind of thick, so I'm going to use the the bubble wrap or the uh, fabric jack to make it a little bit more heavy duty. This always takes a while to come out in the kind of on the last part of this bottle. My, uh, I have my Etsy shop back up again. I uh, had been, I had taken a, a week off, and um, on my Etsy shop now I have my journal covers. Are uh, I've got them on sale two for one, and it's really a good deal. It's it's eighteen dollars for two covers, plus you get like. Well, I forget how many, but at least probably seven to nine pieces of ephemera to use in that journal. <clears throat> so that's really a pretty good deal to give you. A... 
some things that you could make a, a cover out of. You, the cover's there. It's just, um, here, I'll show you what I'm doing now. This is, this is the cover. And you open it up. And it's folded up and has a po has two pockets, one on one on each side. This one has the the papers. But that's how that's how it comes. The cover comes. I added these um, corners onto this one. the The kit does not come with the the corners, but you could you could purchase those and use those on your on your cover. And then the kit also comes with, like I said, about seven to nine pieces of ephemera, of various styles that you've seen me make. I mean, me make on my channel. So, and there are two for the price of one for a while. I don't know how long. You get to choose which cover you want. Oh, let's see. This is, hope this isn't getting too dry before I get all the way around. Let me make sure I get the edges. seeming to come out. I might just use the uh, a bit of the screw. Okay, I was talking too much and lost my train of thought. Okay, so I'm going to bring back my paper. This is my top. This is my top here. I'm going to put this down, match that up with that little mark that I made for the corner. And this one as well. Smash that down, and I'm gonna go over to this side. I'm gonna make sure that I'm gonna uh, kind of fold it where it goes, just to make sure that that's not getting wrinkles there on the fold. Burnish it down. Okay, then what I'm going to do is, in order to, I want to, I'm going to be wrapping these pieces up around here, and then putting a piece of, um, I like this gold paper. Uh, Monet uses a lot of gold. It's kind of more like a straw paper color. And then I'm going to attach that on the inside, but the edges, the edges are going to show. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my corners and I'm going to cut off the corner, leaving about a sixteenth of an inch, excuse me, a sixteenth of an inch on the side. I don't want to get real real close but I want to get as close as I can without cutting exactly to the corner okay I'm trying to do this with um with the glitter glue and see if it works. It might not, and I might have to do it with... with the powder tag.
but you notice I folded it first to kind of give it that stability. And then I can press it down with my Yeah, it can either be a dry wet wipe or, or a wet 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 wipe. Okay, then I'm gonna go to the other side. This isn't gonna matter, but I am gonna trim this this down. It's a little big on that edge. on this side. Check that. That's holding on there. That's good. Oh, it looks, I'm going to check out how, how it's looking from the front. I've got a little bit of glue on my fingers. If you do get, like if you have glue on your fingers and you touch down to your paper, it's usually a good idea to take it down, to take it off right away if, if you can, because otherwise it, it does leave kind of a little film that you'd be able to see later on. Okay, then let's do these other two sides. If you want a little more, I can show you what I'm going to do on the front. And like I said, I am going to put this straw paper in here. I am, however, going to wait because I may want to, I haven't decided yet what kind of closure I'm going to um, put in this journal. But if I do want to put uh, like a uh, fabric strip or a ribbon under um, on the sides to close it on the sides, then I can always just like glue that. This is too thin of a ribbon to use, but I can always glue that in with that paper and that'll hold it very nicely on the on the edges so that I can use this as, as the closure on, on both sides. But I have, like I said, I haven't decided yet, so I'm gonna wait to, to glue that in. Okay, so let's get this fitted. front of my my journal hold it down doesn't have to be exact this is showing a little tiny bit on the edge that's okay as it it just make it fit the way it wants to go rather than trying to pull this over when it doesn't fit quite as nicely in other words, just let it go. Don't, don't worry about it being exact, exact. Okay, so like I said, I have these, these digitals from Mrs. Coggs. And by the way, she has a beautiful, she shows a beautiful Monet's, two Monet journals that she did recently on her channel. So if you haven't been there in a while, go over there and check out her Monet journals. They're just gorgeous. 
but she has this kit and she has other kits also and so I selected a photo from that kit that I'm going to put on the front and I'm going to use this chipboard frame um, a while back I think it was about over a year ago I did a uh, a video on chipboard frames and how to use them on front covers and in your journals and that's what I'm going to do on this one and I'm going to put this on the front somewhere I'm not quite sure where yet so I'll make it first and then I'm also going to put this in the background This is a little piece of glittery tool I use on here. And I'll fit that into the back. Somehow. There we go. And this of course will be inside the frame, this this picture. And it's another Monet, it's a Monet painting. And then you'll remember this from my Little Bits video that I did. Um, it, this was very recently, it's on, my, it's on my channel. And it's a little butterfly made out of fabric and trims. And I'm going to have this butterfly in the, in the front cover as well. So let me get this. See if I can get this cut so you can see what it's going to look like. Oops. Okay, so I'm going to use a pencil because I know that I'm going to have to um, erase it. And it's very, very fine. I can hardly see it. But I'm going to go outside by about an eighth to a quarter of an inch. Now I can't see my pencil. I can't even see my pencil line. Okay, so what I can do in that case, so I'll put this back on here. Pencil line. I still, I'm sorry, I still can't see it. Fumbling, fumbling Chris here. There, now I can see it. Oops, I'm cutting. I'm not cutting enough away from the edges, but we'll see how, how it goes. There we go. Okay, now I have a few edges. I line this up. If I see any pencil marks that I can see. If I see any pencil marks that I have on here, and now's the time that I would go in and, and take those off. Okay, and then now rather than putting the glue on the paper, which might seep up in there, I'm going to actually put the glue on and get my thinner. I'm going to get my thinner applicator for my glue. And I'm going to try to put it so that it goes inside that frame, not real, real close to the, the edge. It'll leave a little bit here. But the paper isn't all that big either. 
because I had to make sure it wouldn't show through those holes. The glue will spread out just a little bit enough to, to hold it, but you don't want to put it on there real thick so, so it, that way it won't seep, seep in. Okay, so I'll put this down and try to get that right on there as much as I can. I can turn it over. There we go, just so it's somewhat straight. And I'm going to cut this tool. I'm going to kind of raggedy it, raggedy it up a bit here. I don't think that's a word, but make it look ragged edges. So it doesn't look like it's just a square or a rectangle of tool. And then I'm going to try to decide where I want to place this. that. Maybe bring it up just a little bit. There. Let's see where I maybe want this butterfly to go. Okay, well, I'll play around with that a little, a little bit more and see, see how I like it. But I think I kind of like that. So we have a very, very pretty cover. I hope you all are having a wonderful day and take care. Peace of mind. Bye now.